example, let's go to a flashing news break. If you can see my screen, can you see my trading view ETH screen? Um, my ETH chart? Up. Yep. Let's go to a flashing news break. If you can see my screen, can you see my trading view ETH screen? Um, my ETH chart? Up. Yep. Okay. So check this out, a new live stream feature. How about breaking news or breaking TA? So I've been talking about the 21 day moving average. Ooh, how about we take an intraday chart like the 89 minute chart where H bar is 89 minutes. That comes from the GAN universe, but we leave that 21 period moving average up. That's right. A 21 day becomes a 21 period or 21 bar average. So we're going to use something that no one looks at and check out what ETH's doing. ETH breaks below the 21 day moving average or not the 21 period moving average on this intraday chart. Okay. It fakes everyone out. Then it pops above it. Then it dips again right here, right on this green line. And what's ETH doing now? As Forrest and Ian are talking about the currency that everyone's going to need to have on their balance sheet for two reasons. One, ETH's the future of money. Two, ETH's the future of the internet. And three, ETH is the currency of culture. Borrowed that from Novogratz. How much is human expression worth? How much money did the Egyptians put in to art? The pyramids, the Sphinx, the carvings on the inside, their tombs, right? These things were studied by Gan as treasures of clues for numbers that he used to help predict markets. All of that came from art and ETH is the currency of art. So. When I go back and I look, or you look at this live stream and I look at these charts, I say to myself, you know what? Let me just break in here on the stream and tell everybody what we've been telling everybody for quite a while. It's actually on our site where we publish reports all about ETH. It was part of a recent promotion. If the dollar goes down, ETH can go much, much higher. And everyone is asking, I see it in the comments and we want to get to them. And in future streams, we're going to bring back Q and a, so don't worry. We know you're out there. We love you. We definitely want to hear you and take your questions, but everyone's like, well, what about my coin? And I, I say that ETH is the rising tide that can lift all the boats. So when I'm talking about total crypto market cap, I'm actually talking about your coin. So if you've got a coin, uh, unless it's gone to zero and you bought it because you heard about it at the barbershop, if you've done any research, have confidence in yourself, right? This is the pep talk part, right? I do the market update and the pep talk. This is the pep talk. If ETH is the rising tide that lifts all boats, then if you've got a winner and Ian Bellina believes in adding or doubling up on your winners, or if you just started in crypto or you're looking on the internet and going, oh, gee, what do I do now? And here we are, here's Pineapple Man telling you that ETH at 3,200 is mispriced. It's mispriced, right? I did a video with an esteemed colleague somewhere else on another channel, and we talked about ETH at 12K, and that's, you know, we talked a little bit about, I don't know, my personal life. And we talked about the dollar and we talked about all the stuff we've talked about here. And we're talking about 25,000, 26,000 views, right? So if you're out there and you're listening to this, who do you want to listen to in crypto? Well, you want to listen to the guy like Ian, who was in ETH at 300 who was borrowing against his ETH at Actually, the time. Actually, $8, $8, Bill. <laughs> eight, sorry. <laughs> he got in at $8, right? And we were pounding the table on all this stuff in 2019, or rather I was learning from him. So transitioning from the pep talk 
to the education. Let me ask you something. How did I learn about crypto? I learned legacy being in the market for 20 years, but I learned crypto. How? Well, let me tell you something. Someone puts a camera in your face and says, we're going live for two and a half hours. Ask me anything. Turn on your trading view. Let's go. Let me tell you something, folks. You learn crypto quickly. And I learned crypto from listening to my colleagues here on the stream. Now, as I understand it, Forrest was in it way back when, right? Like high school, maybe? Yeah, the first involvement, I guess, mild involvement, you could say that I had in crypto was with my brother was, was like mining Bitcoin on his laptop like pre-2012. I can't remember the exact dates, but yeah, he had a laptop with, you know, Bitcoin block rewards, which back then were, I think, 25 Bitcoin or something like that. Uh, and yeah, lost that laptop. But we dabbled, like we owned a couple of Bitcoin and then just, you know, it crashed from $1,100. You had like the Mt. Gox thing and really got involved more in 2016, 2017. Uh, the first real involvement I had in, in crypto was buying like 40, 50, 60 ETH at like 13 bucks each. And then like buying, uh, selling some of it to actually buy mining rigs, right? So I was, I was actually mining Ethereum out of my, my college apartment in 2016, 2017. Um, you know, wish I would have kept those mining rigs running through this big DeFi boom, but uh, been involved since about then. All right. Uh, you know, right. Ian, as I understand it, you, uh, you recently did some traveling to uh, go home for a family birthday. Happy birthday to that member of Ian's family. You know, I'm just curious, man. Like when you go back home, like do they just treat you like, oh, oh yeah, that's the guy at the second the chair on the dinner table or do they, do they kind of know who you are now? I'm just what, just curious as oh, to how- They know, they know. I mean, they, they know who you are? Yeah, my family knows. They, they're, on the, they're on the mailing list. They follow everything. <laughs> All right, see, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Like, you know, some guy walks through the front door, right? Or we have a meeting at Token Metrics. And, you know, I started in this business with like a Bitcoin maximalist, right? And now I've moved over into this space. All right. And again, what I've been learning, okay, where I've gone, all right, at age 51, I've got a guy that works with me who you're going to hear about on the podcast. Okay. He's actually younger than my daughter. Okay. And he's learning crypto and we're learning crypto together doing things like NFT roundup, things like the market update or called state of the market. So I started writing state of the market at my previous crypto job. And now I'm showing him and you're out there going, Bill, why are you telling me this story? Because I'm going to teach it to him. He's going to teach it to you. And we're all going to teach it to each other. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.